Well, I had a whole bunch of autopilot tests I was going to start filming today because it was supposed to be hot, hot, hot. But our rain showers were a little worse than expected. So I just thought, why not cover a little bit of test, uh, Elon's new master plan. Um, he has updated to part two of the master plan um, that he originally did about 10 years ago. Let's first talk about original master plan which first consisted of create a low volume car which would necessarily be expensive he says basically that was the roadster what does that have to do with it well since the roadster was a low volume car proof of concept and mostly hand built the costs for it were of course high and who can afford high cost vehicles people that had a large income not so much to say that he was only going to build cars for rich people, as uh, most articles out there would say, but he needed to prove the concept and prove it uh, on a platform that um, people that have a disposable um, income would purchase, and that he did. The Roadster was pretty much a success. Part two, the ma original master plan was also then use that money, or in other words, the money from the Roadster, to develop a medium volume car at a lower price. Uh, we actually have one and a half cars, or uh, you, you'll, you'll catch my drift in a minute. Obviously, the medium volume car we have the Model S, uh, which was a success, and I, I say the half because I consider. Um, the Model X SUV to be more of a, 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 a mid-plane between luxury priced, high priced, and uh, medium priced car. Whereas if you strip it down, a Model S can be a very medium priced car. And then, of course, number three was to use that money to create an affordable high volume car and provide solar power. Now, of course, the high volume car will be the up and coming Model 3 at about $35,000. Um, it is considerably more affordable than people realize considering the lower maintenance costs and operating costs of the vehicle. And of course then he also stated the, the, the provide solar power. And Elon goes on to say, no kidding, this has literally been on our website for 10 years. Uh, now I'm not going to go into the intricacies of, of the whole statement and his, his whole article or blog post. Um, however, um, I mean, you can read this on the Tesla Motors website. I'm just going to cover some key points on the update that he has done. And, uh, let's see. Now, it has been expanded to cover the major forms of terrestrial transport. So no longer does Elon want to focus just on personal transport. He wants to cover the major forms. I mean, we got uh, uh, Hyperloop is uh, in testing in some areas, but uh, he specifically mentions a future concept SUV, uh, a new kind of pickup truck, and he also wants to address, uh, you know, eventually pretty much every style vehicle the consumer market wants. But he also feels a lower cost vehicle than the Model 3 is unlikely to be necessary because of the third part of the plan which he does describe below and I'll touch in a minute. Autonomy. He wants to work towards full autonomy and increase safety levels considerably more. Uh, basically a fail-safe operation of a vehicle. If one major system uh, goes out there would be a fail-safe backup uh, to continue driving the vehicle to safety. Uh, and a safety level that far exceeds human driver's capability. And I mean, just already, uh, autopilot is beating the crap out of human drivers in terms of accidents. And uh, I'll just re read this. According to the recently released 2015 NHTSA report automotive fatalities increased by 8% to one death every 89 million miles. Autopilot miles will soon exceed twice that number and the system gets better every day. It would be no more it would excuse me it would no more make sense to disable Tesla's autopilot 
as some have called for, than it would to disable autopilot and aircraft, after which our system is named. And test, uh, Elon goes on to discuss uh, the word beta in front of uh, it being a beta release out to the public. Uh, Tesla does thoroughly test their soft, well, the autopilot software before it went out to the public. And Elon makes the statement that the beta in the name of autopilot doesn't mean that it's experimental, that it can just f flat out error out and fail at any any given second. Uh, what he is saying is that there are so many improvements to come, upgrades and improvements to autopilot and eventually autonomous driving, that it's it's an unfinished software. So even though it's not, uh, uh, how can I put it? it, it would be likened to uh, Apple, nah, that would be a bad example. Well, just as he says, it's, 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 I guess I'll read it. It's called beta in order to decrease complacency and indicate that it will continue to improve. Uh, his way with words are, you know, really easy. Uh, autopilot is always off by default. And Elon said, once we get to the point where a top autopilot is approximately 10 times safer than the U.S. vehicle average, the beta label will be removed. So, one death currently every 89 million miles, uh, which would be the U.S. vehicle average. So he's saying once we get to approximately 900 million, yeah, 900 million to 1 billion miles without fatalities under the autopilot system, that's when he feels he will be comfortable enough to take it out of the beta out of the name, whereas it will be more of a finalized version, and then after that, just continue to be refined over time, not major incremental updates, which, of course, uh, with all the rumor leaks, uh, firmware 8 is going to be a major, major incremental update. And now we get to why Elon doesn't think a lower cost model than the Model 3 will be necessary which would be sharing. And this is basically when the car is down to in full autonomy. Once it's at the point where the vehicles are full autonomy, Elon would like to have something like a car sharing service, similar to like Uber, but not quite. Basically, the owner of the vehicle will still own the vehicle. But since you're not using, oh, there's a AAA Hertz car going past, that's a student driver car. Might not need those in another 10, 15 years. But basically, you're not using the vehicle all the time. Like right now, my car is just sitting here. I'm not even using it. I won't, well, I will have to go pick up midget number one in approximately 15 minutes. But if I'm going to be at, say, work all day for eight hours, well, why have the car sitting in a lot just wasting away when it could be out either paying for itself or actually making money? Elon wants to use a vehicle's spare time and give it somewhat of a part-time job. And uh, think of it as if uh, the car was its own Uber driver and the car could accept requests to pick up people and drop them off places. And uh, since the systems are fairly complicated for autopilot or auto even autonomy, or even more so for autonomy, um, Elon thinks around the $35,000 level is about the right price to make it work, and if you need help paying for that, let the car go work for itself. How about that? So, just to recap, uh, oh, and Elon said, uh, in cities where demand exceeds the supply of customer-owned cars, Tesla will operate its own fleet, ensuring you can always hail a ride from us no matter where you are. Thanks for sharing, Gene. We didn't need that on the camera. Go away. So, as his own uh, recap, create stunning solar roofs with seemingly in integrated, seamlessly in integrated battery storage. Actually, I didn't even cover that. Um, that was another part, is uh, the solar portion of his master plan. Uh, 
have everybody end up being their own little power producer. Get everything from the sun that we need to recharge our vehicles, or at least as much as we can. Um, and if he can integrate it seamlessly with uh, battery storage, I mean, I'll jump on board with that one, two, three. I mean, that's that's awesome. Um, next would be expand the electric vehicle product line to address all major segments. Develop a self-driving capability that is ten times safer than manual via massive fleet learning. And enable your car to make money for you when you aren't using it. Disclaimer, forward-looking statements, so on and so forth. Um, I urge all of you to read the full article. I mean, this, this is a lot. I mean, it take me a while to read the whole thing, but... Um, or to you guys, but I mean, what do you guys think? Uh, let's do start a discussion on this. Um, do you think Elon can pull it off? Because I really do. Um, and personally, Elon chose the right name when he decided to go with Tesla as the company name. Uh, just imagine what the world would have been like if. Nikola Tesla could have, uh, you know, continued his inventions and really bring everything out to us. Whereas, uh, obviously, that did not happen. But it seems like Elon's really going to try and, and leave off, at least in his own way, where Nikola Tesla uh, had to stop. And I think transportation is going to be one major thing. And of course, I mean, solar generated power. Trust me, if I could, if I had, if I, if I could afford to give the power company the middle finger right now, I would in a heartbeat. Um, they have screwed me over constantly. I'm not, that's a topic for a completely different video. And, uh, but I will say when they jacked the rates up 51%, uh, January 1st, 2015, um, I did give them pretty much the middle finger and I shifted, uh, the majority of my power consumption and I charge up at a different just outside of town now at a uh, different on a different utility um, my local power company actually came out and accused me of power theft when my monthly usage dropped from 9 megawatts a month down to 900 kilowatts kilowatt hours a month uh, yeah uh, that was a fun argument I had with them they came out and accused me of theft of power and I told them flat out why they are no longer making any kind of money off me any longer and as soon as I can cover the rest of that with solar that's it they're gone actually they'll be paying me because I'll sell them back my excess so uh, post in the comment section below what are your thoughts um, how, do you, how do you think Elon's going to pull this off? Um, do you think he's going to hit a lot of roadblocks? Um, and don't forget, like and subscribe.